first we're going to start out by applying a sheer coat of foundation on our face just to make sure that everything is kind of the same color when we put on the costume makeup. Apply a primer to your eyelid so that the makeup stays on. Here I'm applying a MAC primer and the makeup is actually kind of cool just for a normal look so maybe I'll do a tutorial on that. Here I'm using Dip Down by MAC and then an angled brush and then creating a very thick brow and then fl like flicking it upwards to make it look like I have little hairs coming out. The best way to do this is to do little tiny tiny strokes and like kind of light with the brush and thicker with the brush so that the lines are dark and thin. Basically just make little hair lines. And then you want to set your foundation with some powder foundation and here I'm using a really really bright pink blush by Urban Decay. It was kind of a sample I got in one of my Sephora palette things. Now I'm going to use this purple that I got from my Sugar Pill makeup. It, this is the Heartbreaker palette. I love this color. It is super pigmented too. Like these colors are seriously amazing. They go on like velvet. It's crazy. So just putting that purple on your eyelid and then blending that out. And here I'm using Poison Plum from the same Sugar Pill. And then just putting that right in the crease and kind of blending that all out. I added a tiny bit of carbon just right in the crease with a pencil brush and then blended that all out again. And then whatever you have left over on your fluffy brush just go underneath your eye. Now I'm using this purple color from Makeup Forever. I believe it's number 9. I think that's the color of it. It's just really, really bright and I'm just putting this on the inside of my corner and kind of onto my eyelid. And then using CD Pearl by MAC just underneath my eyebrow and kind of blending that into my tear duct type area right by my nose. And now I'm going to use my L'Oreal liquid liner and create a thick cat eye. You know the deal, just go up by the corner, make a little V shape there and then pull that down towards your lash line and then to make that little winged on the inside the tear duct you kind of just want to go down past your eye here like I'm doing and then making a sort of a V shape and then I kind of went in with my carbon and a very very skinny eyeliner brush and just set that because that's where my eyes water the most. And then taking a um, pencil brush by MAC, this is Smolder, and then going on the inside of my eye on my um, waterline. And then the same purple and going underneath my eye. And then making little wispy things at the end of my eye with all three of those colors that I used on my eyelid. Now with a white pencil, I'm going to go down my nose and make a contour line. So we're going to go from our eyebrows down the bridge of our nose on the sides. And then around the nostrils kind of. This is kind of what I did here and I just did the white because it acts as a really good base for this purple that I'm putting on so it makes it super vibrant and here I'm just using the same purple that I used on my eye the makeup forever one that's super super bright I wanted this to be super super pigmented and vibrant so I kind of went over a few times just packing on the color in that certain area now I'm going to use that same pink that I used as for my blush from the Urban Decay. I'm not actually sure what the color name of this is, but it's really, really bright and kind of a bubblegum pink. And then I'm just going to go on my nose and make this sort of shape. And then use my water paint, the black, to make these nostril lines right on the inside of my nose. Using the same black, I'm just making three little dots and then three little lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then putting some mascara on. I didn't add lashes to this look just because I thought it would be kind of different. I don't know. I didn't want the eyes to stand out as much as I wanted the mouth to stand out. So you could add lashes if you wanted to. I'm here. I'm using a Blackout by Dior. I added a tiny bit of that pink right on the inside of my nose, kind of blending it outwards. And then on my cheeks. And then if you do get mascara on there, just let it dry and then take a Q-tip and blend it and it will just come right off. Now I'm just blending that all out again. Adding some more little wispies on the sides with my white pencil for contour. And now for the fun part, your mouth. So first I started off by using my watercolors um, from Krylon. And then I just made this shape on my mouth here and I started out by doing that because it's honestly like really hard to get the same shape on each side of your face. Just because it's like right on the side of your face, it is kind of difficult, I'm not going to lie. So then make these teeth shapes. You wanna kinda blacken out your lips a tiny bit and then just make these shapes all the way to the very corner. 
and bigger in the middle and then tinier as you go down. I wanted that middle line to be quite dark so I just went over that again. And then after this you're going to want to create little U shapes on the top of those teeth so that you can create the teeth shape with the white when you go back in. Just go do that throughout the top and then on the bottom you want to make sure that they aren't upside down used. You want to make sure that they're um, normal shaped. I did accidentally kind of go on the top a little bit but you can just fill that in with white. Here I'm going in with my Krylon water paint white and actually it's pretty opaque. Um, I didn't use a lot of water, I just used more paint rather than the water. And then filled that all in. Don't worry if you make mistakes, you can go back in with the black, which actually helps because you want to kind of create a shading too, so it kind of makes that gray look there too. Now just go back in and line those again if you made any mistakes like I did. Um, and then this is good because you can put some shading in there too to make it look more realistic. I liked it more cartoony just because it is the Cheshire Cat. But um, yeah, just do that. After all this is done, you can clean up any edges and then you're done. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun tutorials and follow me on Instagram for more makeup looks at Janine Dale.